Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't put curly bracket here for E. Then for else, I don't put open and close curly bracket. Of course, you can do that. Okay. But you know why I didn't put? Why I didn't put? I think I explained last in last class. Why? If you only have one statement, it's okay if you don't put. Only have one, right? But let's say if you have more than one operation here to be performed, if this is true, then you need to have open and close curly bracket. But if you only have one statement, it's okay if you don't put that curly bracket. The same goes here for else, because you only have one, right? One means it's okay if you don't put. But if you have more than one, and then you need to put curly bracket. Eh? Okay. Okay. So far, any question? Eh? Okay. Another thing I want to explain to you. Okay. Maybe some of you will say, okay, here is correct. If number of subject is greater than zero, we put return registered. But why we never test for the second condition? Why you don't put if number of subject equals to zero? Why you don't put else if number of subject equals zero? You know why? Because it's understood. If this is false, it means the student never registered any subject. No need to test. Okay, of course you can do that. Okay, but you can save time by just put by just put else. Okay. Okay. Another thing, if your method returns a value, you know this method returns a value because you don't put void, you put string, right? Make sure you have you must have return keyword here. You cannot put if number of subject greater than zero, system out print line registered. It looks correct, but it's wrong. You know why? Because this method is not white. This method returns a value. And the value is string. This is string, right? And the value that is written must match with the value declared here. You put string, right? And the value written is string. This is not integer. If this method returns an integer, make sure you put public <coughs> int. Earlier, for public void update address, you don't have return because this method doesn't return a value. It is a void method. Okay. Sometimes in the question, they will tell you uh, this method is void, this method is written. Sometimes it's up to you to decide okay, whether you want to use a void method or you want to use a return method. So in, in our problem that we discussed, it's been specified in the question that this, is a, this method will return a value. So if it's if the method return a value, make sure you don't put void here. You need to declare the data type that will return and make sure you have return. And make sure the value return and what data type being declared here are matched to each other. Okay. Okay, finally, display. This is quite straightforward. Huh? Okay, display is white. R return or white method. It can be white, it can be return. But in our case, since you're going to have how many messages need to be displayed? Five, right? Five. So you cannot, because return means it only can return one value. You cannot return five values in one method. So it's understood that it cannot be a return. It is white. So public white display. Okay. Okay, how about the parameters? Does this method deal with user? No, no, right? Because all the information has been given in the class. You just take the value that been the latest value of the attributes. Huh? Okay, system out print line because you want to display. System out this uh, system out print line. Huh? Uh, just push it a bit further. Ah, okay. System or print line? System S capital. Eh? But this is the library command S, okay, dot out O U T dot print line, eh? P R I N T L N eh? L, uh, no, no, L N. Okay, open bracket, open uh, quotation. Name is uh, space close quotation plus 
plus. Okay, which attribute holds the information about name? Huh? The one you declared. Which which uh, name right? Uh, name. Because you declared five attributes right. Okay, name. Okay. Uh, okay. I uh, no no. Uh, make it together. Plus a name. Okay. Close bracket, semicolon. Okay, now you can copy paste the same thing, but just change the attributes. Huh? Okay. Address is. Pardon? Address, okay, which one you want to use? You want to use the attributes or the parameter? No, cannot use parameter. Attributes. Attributes what? Address, right, in a full form. Okay, then name, address, metric. You have five information, yeah? Uh, okay. Yeah, I need to call. Uh, address is metric is. Okay. After that, number of subject registered. Number of subject registered, number. Okay. Okay, so you have five output to be displayed, right? So at the moment, how many you have? Four. Okay, after this? What is the output that need to be displayed? Pardon? Status. Status, no need. Social registered, not registered. That one, no need. Name of the subjects, right? Okay, but the problem is that name of subjects, you can have two, you can have zero, or you can have three. So how are you going to write that here? Okay, if you have uh, two subjects, then you need to display the Two subject, right? <coughs> For example, huh? okay, if you have number of subject is two, then how many subjects you need to display? Two. If you have number of subject is three, then you have three system of print line. But if number of subject is Zero means you just put no subject. Okay, just put no subject here. Because you just want to display, right? So if your number of subject is two, we have two system print outline. Else, if your number of subject is three, you have three subject to display. Else, just put no subject. So this one also involves what? Condition. Right. Okay. okay now I, I want you to type if number of subject is two, then you put system print line. What the subjects? Then, if number of subject registered is three, then you need to display three subjects. Else, just put no subject. So help your friend, eh? Okay. Okay. Two uh, No subject. Eh? Okay. So now what? Ah. Uh, uh, nothing. Okay. Okay. So how? Okay, try to get your your friend. Eh? If I smaller, eh? small letter. If. 
啊。Subject. Eh? Try to get your friend. Eh? Any anyone who knows the answer, you can try. It doesn't matter if it is wrong. Eh? Okay. Equals to two. Can you put open and close bracket? Before. Uh, I don't know. Before. Before. After two, close bracket. Uh, after two. Before two, you delete that one. Open bracket should be before uh, number. Before number uh. Okay, if you're comparing, you cannot have single equal. Uh, you must have double equal. Means you're comparing. Okay, so open curly bracket. Enter a few times. Then you close curly bracket. Okay. Uh, close. Okay. Uh, close curly bracket. Not open. Close. Okay. Uh, okay. How many? How many system printer you should have inside here? Two. Two. Okay. Okay. Just type system out print liner inside here. Inside here, two system out print liner. We can just copy paste that eh? system up line. Just put subject one is what, subject two is what, yeah? Push it to the right, then eh? the whole thing. Ah. Uh. Further, further? Okay, now, just put the uh, subject one is enough. Ah. Uh. Ah, <coughs> uh, no, no. Because you just want to display the subject, right? Okay. What is the name of the attribute? Subject one, eh? so you don't have this uh, open quotation eh? because you want to display the value. Okay, enter S2. System one plan S2. S2. Sorry, subject two. Subject two. Okay, done. Right? Ah. Okay, else if if subject is two, you put else if. Huh? After the curly bracket. No, 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 after the curly bracket. Because this is closing for this, this one. Ah, else if number of subject is three. Is it capital S? Spelling mistake. Huh? Equals three. Okay. Open curly bracket and then you close it. Close. Okay, so inside this uh, second else statement, you need, you need to put else if. Huh? You forgot to put if. Else if. Uh, space if. Okay, so you can just copy paste the whole thing here. Just paste it, paste it here, but add another, another one for the third subject. The whole thing you can, you can, yeah. Okay, another one.
subject tree. Subject tree, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, just hold on. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, if it is not two subject, if it is, if it is, if it is not three subject, then it is it means what? No subject, right? Uh, else, just put system out print line, no subject. Else, system, uh, no, no if, no if. Else, just put enter, enter. Okay, okay. System print line, no subject. Okay, done. Okay, make sure you close the whole uh, the method. Huh? No subject. Okay, now you need to put open and close quotation because this is not the value attribute, right? It's something that you type. Okay, correct. No subject, space, huh? no subject. Uh, because this is something that you display, so it can be anything. Okay, um, okay you forgot to close the method. Huh? Uh, you need to close into class, can? Mm -hmm. uh, close into method. Ah uh, yes. Ah mm. uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Another thing. Okay. Try to look here. If number of subject is two, you display the first two subject. Your number of subject that register is three. Okay. From where you can detect, or from where you can know uh, how many subject been registered, it is from the attribute number subject. Right. If number of subject register is two, we display the two subject. But if number of subject being registered is three, you display the three subject. Otherwise, it is understood that no subject being registered. Uh, 